Not long ago, I did a video talking about why stereo is a flawed system. We may or may not want something to be realistic, but if we do, stereo is not the way to do it. If you have an instrument, someone playing an acoustic guitar, the sound is radiating outward from that acoustic guitar. It's bouncing off the back wall, it's bouncing off the floor, bouncing off the ceiling. It is radiating outward like energy from a campfire. And surround sound is like having a bunch of flashlights mounted on the wall, all shooting inward. How are we going to recreate the sensation of energy radiating outward from a campfire by using flashlights radiating inward from the outside? Dolby Atmos. Here you have a bunch of different sounds coming from different places. Yes, that's helpful in improving upon what stereo does and having different localizations. We have uh, L Acoustics L ESA system that has the ability to spread the panorama across a horizontal domain and you can have instruments coming from different places. These are all helpful, but Will they truly recreate sound as it was originally generated? In my opinion, not even close. Let's build a speaker that I think will get us much closer to that goal and truly recreate four-dimensional realistic environment with sound radiating from multiple places, energy radiating outward from the speakers. I believe it would get us much closer to the ability to recreate accurate sound as it was initially radiated. All right, so um, let's see what we got here. I've accumulated a mishmash of speakers. I'm not really sure which ones we'll use, but we'll build this up. Uh, here's some foam. Here's some connectors, the speaker wire and the lugs. And then these little um, snap-on connectors that'll work with the speaker wire. Here's a little amp. Uh, eight channel amp that I built a while back that's got eight little, um, I don't know, 20 or 30 watt class D amplifiers in there. It's got a stereo mini in and two RCAs, which are actually the power, speaker power out. Here is what we'll build the speaker out of. So we've got some tubes, uh, four inch PVC, some insulation, drill, and tools. Cool. So um, this is hopefully everything we need to build this project, and um, I'm gonna get to it. And these rings should fit right in here. And once that's in, then these four inch drivers should be able to fit there. So the goal here is not to build like a perfect, super pristine speaker. It doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, I believe that all this super high fidelity, perfect frequency response adventure is because of the flaws of stereo. We can be a lot looser on the um, specs and speakers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try and do this fast and easy and um, hopefully it'll end up cool. I'm gonna glue this ring in here, but the rest of the stuff we're not gonna glue. We're just going to make this thing kind of reconfigurable. It's always smart to work on a table that's got a lot of holes in it when you have little tiny parts. That way you're really sure to drop some stuff through. Keeps you on your toes. And there's those holes in the table coming in useful. All right. So let's go ahead and find the center of this circle here. The concept of having this multi-faceted speaker and all the technology for this already exists is easy to do. The challenge is actually in the um, format in which music's released. There's a lot of reluctance to release music, you know, all the stems to release the individual instruments. In a perfect world, if this works, we should be able to walk around behind the speaker and it would sound similar to if there's acoustic guitar player playing. We walked around 
the acoustic guitar player. So imagine something like this, pop down in a restaurant somewhere. Is it possible we could recreate sound clear and realistic enough or in a way that um, when you walk into the restaurant, you're like, oh, I thought there was actually an acoustic guitar player here, but that's just a speaker. That would be my goal if this is successful. We're really kind of recreating a single instrument with this. This whole contraption is all about recreating, let's say, an acoustic guitar or a stand-up bass or, or a something, guitar rig, a Marshall stack. All right, so I'm done. So let's go ahead and check it out and then give it a listen. Um, so here's what I built. And what it is, is four different speakers mounted in tubes pointed at different directions. So we've got kind of a, a left downward facing over here and then a right downward facing there. We can take a look at that speaker. And those are the little BNC coaxes. I put a little half a microfarad capacitor on the highs, nothing special. And then this is the VIFA uh, full range speaker here pointed up. And then there's another one here pointed down. Now the whole concept or part of the concept of this is rather than having this perfect fidelity striving for 20 to 20K razor flat response, coherent phase, perfect interaction, that all of that struggle is based on trying to recreate sound in a flawed way. And that a lot of the instruments that we're recreating, if you took a garage band and had them play on trash can lids and crappy speakers, you know, that maybe just they don't have any wide frequency response and uh, nothing in the room has a response that maybe goes below 60 hertz and above 10 gay. And you could have just a garbage speaker should be able to reproduce it. But even with a super high fidelity speaker, it doesn't sound real. And I believe the reason is fidelity is not the solution. The solution has to do with the way sound bounces around the room and the way it's projected. So rather than have a stereo left and right and strive for perfection, I've got a sloppy four channel speaker here with no EQ and the recording that we're going to hear also has no EQ. It's just microphones around acoustic guitar sitting in an office at RAT with Madeline playing, who works for Sound Tools, and just kind of sitting there um, playing guitar. And I got f uh, several mics. I got six mics around her. I'll show a picture of that. And I don't even remember which mic goes where. I just um, recorded on this little six channel um, TAC task cam right there. And um, playing it back and I just kind of poked around and let's see what happens with this. I've got this Tascam recorder in my hand here that's recording my voice, but we'll also pick up the sound with that. Um, projecting four different mics on an acoustic guitar and putting them back in the speakers pointed four different directions. So I'm gonna go ahead and play. That was fun. So you notice when I went around back that um, 
it got dull and uh, the sound changed as we move around. There wasn't a lot of phase issues between the speakers. And if you were here with me, you'd be like, wow, that sounds more like a real acoustic guitar than any speaker I've heard before. Let's try a normal speaker with that same track grabbing one of those mics and see what it sounds like. All right, so we listened to the four directional speaker, that uh, 4D speaker I built out of tubes. We're using random speaker, two different speaker types, no EQ, no tuning, no thought into the box other than just uh, putting some speakers in the tubes. There's no calculations. And um, just kind of winged it together with some decent parts. And uh, we'll go ahead now and listen to this Infinity um, speaker here. And it's, a, it's an IL-30, and it's capable of being bi-wired, and it's a little two-way box. Definitely a lot more thought went into this than um, what I did there. But we'll just get the one input, and we're going to use the same amp to power it. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire this up. Cool. All right. Um, I'm going to go check this out and give it a listen and uh, hear what you're hearing. I'm listening in headphones, but I can't really tell, you know, um, what the difference sounds like with the recorder. And we do have the variable of the Tascam recorder recording in stereo here. So hopefully it gives a good impression or at least you get the idea of what I'm striving for when I'm talking about how stereo systems don't recreate sound the way that sound is generated. Um, you know, with this setup here, we've got sound coming out of the left and that's out of a different mic than sound coming out of the right. And it's recorded differently. So a mic was over here and a mic was over here, the guitar, and there's different sounds coming out. And there was a mic above and it's shooting mic uh, sound up and then a mic uh, shooting sound or speakers shooting sound behind. So there's different sounds being radiated in different directions. And although there's only four and like with a real instrument, there might be an infinite amount. Um, it should be closer to what audio sounds like when it's generated. Okay, so this is the first part of the concept of better ways to reproduce audio instead of stereo. The second part of the concept is to set up many of these. To have one of these for the stand-up bass player, another one for the acoustic guitar, another one for the drum set, maybe a bigger version, another one for the singer, or you know, having multiple, setting up four of these to recreate a four-piece rock band with each of these multifaceted speakers shooting sounds in different directions. 
Now this is big and bulky and it's not pretty. We could put a cover over it. We could make this small. You could package it something more similar to this and have a true four dimensional audio sound source. It would require lots of tracks. It would require four tracks per speaker. And if you had a four piece band or a four piece setup or a six piece setup, you might have 24 tracks. Well, that's not that big of a deal with today's technology. And one of the big challenges, bands and musicians and artists releasing the individual tracks such that they can be sent to the various speakers. I think that's the biggest challenge of the whole adventure here. All right. Um, cool. I hope you enjoy this and like the idea of pushing audio further. This isn't Atmos. This isn't surround sound. This isn't shooting a bunch of speakers inward from the outside. It's creating three dimensional, four dimensional speakers that radiate sound outward, different sounds in different directions. That is the way that we're going to really reproduce audio so it sounds realistic and is fulfilling. Cool.